Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make these delicious seafood twice baked potatoes. It's packed with shrimp, crab, sausage, cheese, and more. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. We're gonna start by peeling and deveining our shrimp. In the beginning, I tried to use a fork because I saw there was a hack where you could use the fork to get the shell off of shrimp on Instagram and uh, it didn't work, so I just used my hands, which is way easier. Also, I usually wear gloves while handling shrimp, but I'm not wearing gloves because we ran out. This is before I bought my glam gloves, of course. In a skillet over low heat, melt some butter. Add your shrimp. Now add your seasonings. So the seasonings I added were onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, Creole seasoning, Old Bay, and pepper. Now cook your shrimp until they are all pink. Once they're finished cooking, take them off the stove. Now we're just going to cut the shrimp up into tiny pieces. Once you're finished, place the shrimp into a bowl and then set it to the side. In a large pot of water, add 2 tablespoons of vinegar. Then add 1 tablespoon of liquid seafood boil. Then add some crab shrimp boil Florida seafood seasoning, some Cajun seasoning, and onion and garlic powder. Bring the water to a boil and then place your crabs in. Cook the crabs for about 7 minutes. Now that the crabs are done cooking, we're just going to crack them open and take out the meat. Could I have just bought the crab meat? Yes. Yes, I could have. Did I think about that at the time? No. No, I didn't. Adding vinegar to the water when cooking the crabs made the crabs easier to crack. Even the claws were easy to crack and usually I'd have to get scissors just to crack them open. So that's a fun little tip for you. Add vinegar to the water when you're boiling crabs and it makes it easier to crack them open. Alright, when you're finished set your crab meat to the side. Now skin and cut your sausage. You don't have to skin it if you don't want to, I just particularly don't like the skin on sausage. Now place your sausage in a pan at medium to low heat. Cook the sausage until crispy on both sides. Place the sausage in a bowl to cool and then set it to the side. Cook two potatoes in the microwave for about 8 minutes. Now cut the potato in half, scoop out the insides, and then place them into a bowl. Now using a potato masher, mash the potatoes. Now we're going to add 1 half cup of sour cream, 1 fourth cup of milk, 2 tablespoons of butter, 2 ounces of softened cream cheese, 
1 4th teaspoon of salt, 1 4th teaspoon of pepper, 1 4th teaspoon of Fontina cheese, and 1 4th teaspoon of Kobe Jack and Monterey cheese. Mix everything together until well combined. I chopped up the crab meat and added about 1 3rd or 1 4th cup of our crab meat. Then add 1 4th cup of green onions. At this point I still thought it needed a little something so I added 1 4th teaspoon of Creole seasoning and 1 half teaspoon of liquid seafood boil. I ended up cutting the sausage into tiny pieces and putting in 1 4th cup of the cooked sausage. After that I added the shrimp and again I added about 1 4th cup of shrimp. Then I mixed everything together until well combined. Once finished, set it to the side. Take the potato skins from before and then brush them lightly with olive oil. Add some salt for taste. Flip them over and add your filling from before. Top the potatoes with some mild cheddar cheese. Then place in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. Once they are out of the oven, let them cool and then add your favorite toppings and you are finished. My goodness, these things tasted good. Like, I am serious. I'm getting hungry just from making this video. Anyway, I totally recommend that you top it with more crab meat, green onions, and sour cream. That just it takes it to a new level. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.